Good morning, YouTube. This is the LA Prepper here, and we're going to dream a little bit right now. going to dream that one day I could buy a property as amazing as this. First, let's take a look at a few of the picks here. God. Look at, look at that pick. Look at that. How beautiful is that? You can't tell me that you're not looking at this pick and think, damn, I wish I had, I wish I could look outside my window and, uh, and see that. Wow, look at all those trees. So many trees. There's trees everywhere. Now the sloping, of course I've talked about buying hills, properties on hills. The sloping is something to be concerned about. When you have a certain amount of acres, you stop worrying about that. At least a little bit, you know. It is nice to have flat land and developing uh, land that's on a hill can be uh, resource intense because, of course, anything you build, you have to level out that land first. But just look at this. Yep. So it's actually, and I'll get to that in a little bit. More pictures here. Wow. I wonder if that's from the property or maybe up on the hill. You know, realtors get a little creative with their photos. They could be like, oh, that's right up the street. <laughs> now the home itself, let's see. Wow. Man, look at how it's just just like hidden in the forest back there. And I like I like that light a lot more than that light. That's probably a little closer to what it looks like, but man, look at it. Look how bright and beautiful that is. Home is just a little uh, rustic. It's looks like they paneled it with sort of rough. I, I don't know. I wouldn't call them plank. I guess they're planks, but they they didn't uh, like. It looks like they only, you know, they were taking the outside of the log and not flattening it. So that's kind of an interesting style. That awning needs a little bit of work, but I like where they're going with it. natural creek through the I mean look at this creek I just did a video like on the creek the video in the cr creek in the video is a little more ostensible than that but nevertheless I you know I'm sure that water is super 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 clean maybe a little bit of bacteria but other than that way up in there in the mountains who's gonna be polluting your water way up there in the mountains nobody there's nobody growing stuff up there putting tons of fertilizer in the soil you know you'd hope get your water tested but Man, gosh. Okay, back at the beginning. So, let's take a little quick read through here and see why this property is so exciting. 20 acres of trees, water, and sunshine. Older, off-grid cabin, studio, and sauna built in the 70s. Half acre of terraced garden with organic super soil and large smart pots. Drip irrigation and 500 gallon mixing tank. Now, there wasn't pictures of it, which I was a little disappointed, but can you imagine a half acre garden already set up with super rich soil and a mixing tank and air? I mean, awesome. All that stuff takes time and energy. All that irrigation, all those pipes, money, the tank, getting the tank out there. You know, it's, it's something that you and I can do, but if it's already done. Water rights for residential use and a half acre garden. Oh. Zoned forest resource. I wonder if that has to do with how much or if that affects how much wood you can harvest, if anything. Have to look that up. Borders BLM land on two sides, which is, you know, depending how you feel about it, I think that's pretty awesome because presumably you can go recreate on the BLM land depending on what type of BLM land it is. Uh, now it does mean that other people could be recreating on the BLM land, so maybe you feel like you don't want neighbors or people snooping around in the public BLM land around you. But uh, man, gorgeous, gorgeous 20 acres of trees, water, nature, just incredible. Well, until next time YouTube, I'm going to keep dreaming of creeks and trees and homes in the forest. Like, comment, subscribe, keep saving, and keep prepping.